How to use ClickUp Sprints. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you are all doing great. In this video I will showcase exactly step by step how to set up uh, Sprints within ClickUp and how to use it with your ClickUp platform. Now the first, the only thing that you actually need is going to be being an admin uh, within the ClickUp uh, platform or space that you're going to be applying the uh, Sprints for. Uh, so if you have that, you'll be able to easily apply these Sprints. So uh, basically, sprints are going to be uh, enabling you to create sprints folders and having more uh, customization, not customization, but uh, like tr uh, tracking stuff and making things much clearer for your uh, self and team members with, you know, sprint folders and all of that. So uh, with that being said, let's actually go ahead and jump into it. So here. Uh, we have the spaces here and you can see if we just click on here, we don't really find anything because and we cannot like easily create a sprint uh, folder from here because we do not have it enabled yet. Now, the first step is actually going to be enabling these prints uh, on our spaces and it's a very easy process. So let's actually go ahead and do it uh, to enable it. You will need to go ahead to your profile picture on the top right and go to settings. So basically just navigate to settings. From here, you'll need to go ahead and navigate to spaces. You should find spaces on the left side. If not, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, just go ahead to settings and find spaces basically. Uh, once you do that, uh, you should find all these spaces that you have and you should find uh, information like the statuses that are available shared with uh, the owner of the space and uh, a lot more. But we're really not interested in all of that. The most important thing that we're looking for is going to be within the click apps. Uh, and we should find sprints in here. As you can see, the arrow uh, button here, the second one. So um, first, you will need to select which space you want to apply it for. And you can do it again for the other space. So don't worry about it. Same process. But let's say we want to apply it for the second one, the testing space. Let's say I just want to apply uh, sprints to the testing space. So I just go ahead to this space and go to sprints and click on it. So once you click on that, it's going to give you the option to um, filter out the click apps that you want to enable. And feel free to enable uh, whichever click apps that you want to use. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. You can just go ahead and turn on all of them if you want. Now just make sure that you have the right subscription for it. But if you do, you can just enable all of them if you want. Doesn't really matter. But we are going to be focusing on sprints. So make sure it is turned on as you can see. Uh, and then just go ahead and click on default settings. Uh, so again, just click on click apps, make sure it's turned on and go to default settings. Just click on that. And this is going to basically uh, take us to the page where we'll be able to change the default settings of sprints. Uh, meaning those settings are going to be the default for the entire uh, space. So as long as you're creating sprints and if you're not making customizable or uh, like specific changes within each sprint, th these are going to be the default settings. So uh, I just, as you, as you saw, I like, I clicked out of the settings so to find it again is very easy you just uh, navigate here and we just scroll down uh, until we just uh, find uh, the sprints uh, by the way the same goes for the rest of the apps here so just you can go to any app and set them up from here but we are going to be looking for sprints so we can just find it real quick okay i think i have missed it not sprint. So it's not sprint points. It's actually going to be named sprints. So, uh, okay. I really cannot find it. Let me just search for sprints. Okay. So the, here's the, the sprints one. I, I may have missed it. So, uh, let's actually go ahead and just enable it first. Uh, and now we will be able to select the spaces that we wanted to be enabled for so team space and the testing space those are the two spaces that i am working with if you have more you can just apply it to the to the spaces if you don't want to you can just check out uh, or check off 
the uh, space that you don't, you don't want it to work for. And this is just going to be uh, dependent on you. Now here you can enable custom sprint durations and this is going to be an ex experimental stuff. So if you don't want to mess with that, which I suggest that you don't, uh, just don't even touch it or don't even click on it. And if you click on it, just make sure you hit cancel unless you truly want it uh, to be that way. But uh, after that, you, you can just basically click on edit uh, default settings. Just again, make sure it's not sprint points. That's a completely different thing. Uh, it's sprints. So edit default settings. And here we will be able to go ahead and set up the default settings. Sprint name, just leave it as it is. Uh, sprint duration. Here we go. Here's going to be the stuff that you can change. And just, just so you know, this is going to be the default settings, meaning that you can individually change uh, sprints uh settings like uh, within the space itself so if you if there's a specific sp uh, sprint that you want to change the settings for you can do so and i will show you in a bit but this is going to be the default like i said so sprint duration is going to be um we, if we do custom duration i don't think that it's going to work uh but we can just do four weeks for example so it's a month uh and we can change the format so whether it's a uh the format of month day or we can just do your month day which i personally prefer so sprint start day which is going to be the default day uh, we can set it to be any day of the week we can just do sunday for example uh, and then non-working days are going to be um, friday and saturday for me and then we can change uh, measure of effort sprint points time estimates or custom fields those are going to be how they are going to be measured, whether it's going to be sprint points, which you will need to go back to the sprint points, which we talked about within the click apps and set it up. Or we can just do time estimates, which I prefer. Uh, it, it's not necessarily going to be better or worse. It just depends on your preference and see which one suits you best. Uh, but I'll just keep it as time estimates and see uh, and use that as a measure of the effort now dashboard view uh, you can automatically create a dashboard dashboard view for each sprint you can just keep that on uh, and then we've got the lock forecast option now for this one i love I, I would prefer to keep it automatic so that as soon as the sprint uh start day uh, starts you know the uh, forecast gets locked uh, and this is just going to you know actually do the whole estimate work time stuff so uh you can either do it manually or automatically uh, i prefer to keep it automatic unless you want to keep it manual and then if you do that then you'll be able to manually do it after sprint actually starts i'm just going to keep it as automatic and then here we can set up automations i guess uh, I don't really mess with this, so I'm not going to tell you to do so. Uh, anyways, so this these are going to be the uh, general settings of the sprints, and we can just go ahead and hit save. And now it should be completely working for our space, which is one space, uh, the testing space. Yes, the testing space. So if we just go back now and go to our testing space, it's not going to be working for team space because it did not include it in there. But if you did, it's going to be working. Now in here, now you can see the option of sprint has been added. So if we just click on um, here, uh, the folder that we have here, we can just turn to become a sprint. So we can just click on the plus icon and we can just click on sprint. And we can just uh, see how many sprints we want. Maybe we can make it six. Max is going to be 50. And we can start uh, or select the date that we want to start with. So we can just say uh, 28th of this month. Uh, that should be good. Okay, so and again, it's going to be four weeks like we set it up. And we just click on create sprints. And now is going to be uh, all the sprints that we have here. So you can see sprint one, sprint two, sprint three and so on. And here you, you'll be able to add all the elements that you want, like the tasks uh, and so on. 
And now if you notice the the folder that we had has now a new icon, which is basically a sprint folder icon. Uh, and we can just click on it and it's going to give us the list of the sprints here and it's going to give us the progress starting date, ending date and so on. Uh, this way is going to be more organized for you and your team. Here you will find your resources, docs, and also recent stuff. Uh, and you can, you know, change the view for it. And now, like I said, you can change individual sprints uh, settings. So like, I, like we did was the default settings. But if you want to change, for example, only this one, uh, what you will need to do is locate the folder that you want to change the sprint settings for. Click on the three dots and you will be able to go ahead and uh, go uh, to folder settings and then sprint folder settings. Just click on that and it's going to give you exactly the same uh, settings that we had from that. Uh, so you can see sprint duration is four weeks like we set it up to be for the default. But if we change it here, it's only going to be changed for this one. Again, if we create another uh, like completely different sprint folder is going to have four weeks as the default. And if you want to change the default settings, go back to click apps and change it from there. So here you can see non-working days are Friday and Saturday. Uh, uh, start day is Sunday. And you can see the format is the same. And all of those things are going to be the same settings that we have just set up. Uh, and here you can set up the automations later on. So after you change it, you can just go ahead and change it to become three weeks. And we can just click on save. Uh, now, that's pretty much how to use sprints for ClickUp. It's very easy and simple. It's going to be very, very helpful for you and your team members to finish a specific project uh, using sprints. So with that being said, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.